Have you ever seen these images on social media where there's a quote usually or some idea laid on top of a nice image and then maybe the person's website in a subtle way? Um, so here's one example and uh, let me give you another example uh, here, right? Um, these are called social media memes and it's easy to create and so in this short video I want to show you how to create these social media memes you can basically share them on Facebook or LinkedIn or Twitter or anywhere even on your website and then along with the image you can tell a story or give a tip and people usually love these things right uh, another way of uh, using this kind of tool is to create a blog post image so this is a blog post but this is the cover image of a blog post so let me show you uh, how to create these things it's free and it's uh, I use a tool called Pablo so it's pablo.buffer.com is the website and then once you go here you click on the button to get started and uh, basically it's as simple as uh, clicking in the middle here and writing whatever idea you want to write you can do multiple lines if you want uh, you can then you know again you can click on the, the box click on where the words are you can move the words around what I typically like to do is I like to move it all the way to the left and then drag this corner or drag this um, the right uh, little box all the way to the right so that I can I can write more basically if I wanted to and then you can increase the font size by clicking where these AAAs are just click each time you click it gets bigger and then that's the biggest and then it kind of goes back down um, and then if you want to position it to the center, you just click and drag until you see a very subtle, yeah, I don't know if you see that, do you see that little blue line in the middle right there? You see that blue line? It's kind of snaps in the middle. If you move it away, the blue line disappears. Okay, there it is. If you uh, wanted to have it be more narrow, you can also center it by dragging it so that you'll see the blue line in the middle vertically as well. You see that blue line in the middle right there? right there and now it's completely centered vertically and horizontally uh, you can also bold it by clicking like that or you can italicize it and you can change the font there's all these cool fonts that you can use um, they're all free and um, you know just what however your the, the style of the image you want is you, you can do it that way you can also make it right justified left justified or center and you can change the color of the font Make sure it's, so for example, this would be very hard to read, so make sure it's something that's easy to read. You can also change the filters of the image itself. So this would be no filter at all. So the image is in full, in, you know, in its full glory, but then uh, sometimes that makes the words hard to read. Um, light contrast would be to make the words a bit easier to read. Heavy contrast would make it even easier, but then you can barely make out the image as a result. Uh, let's see here. You can also do other things, light blur. You know, so we might want to do no con. Oh, okay, actually, no. These are these are separate. These are individual settings. So you just kind of play around with these things, and sometimes you might want to have fun and do a red tint or a blue tint or something like that. Um, you can also change the size of the image. So this this sort of landscape size is typically good for a blog post header image. Um, but if you want to share it on Facebook, I actually recommend you do something like this or like uh, or like this. These actually share really well on Facebook. This shares okay as well. This is a, this is a landscape image, but um, uh, I I don't have an example to show you. But the, the the box image shows up really big on Facebook, and so does this. So just kind of try try to try things, you know, um, try posting things and see how they look and you can always come back and make a different version of it. This reposition button is where you can reposition what part of the image you want to show. Okay, um, You can also zoom in a certain way, so that's pretty cool. You know, if you want to show more of this part of the image, you can do that. Click done and see, you, you just changed it. So you see how easy it is to do all this. And if you don't have a, a quote yourself, but you want to just add things to your Facebook, or other social media, you can add quotes. So you just click on this button and it'll basically delete whatever you wrote and add, uh, replace it with a quote. And they have like so many quotes. And so just pick one that you really like. And again, remember you can change the font and change the size and everything. Um, the other thing you could do is insert a logo. So if you have a logo for your business, you can insert that by clicking here and 
and choosing what file you want and, and things like that. Um, oh, very importantly, you can change what image, of course, is in the background just by simply clicking, clicking these. Um, and again, you can click reposition to, to show what part of the image you want. And remember, you can also choose these different formats to, to see um, how big of an image you want to show. So you can just kind of click through these images and they have many, they have, as you can see here, 600,000 plus images that are all free for you to use for commercial purposes. Everything is okay for you to use. It's all licensed, um, free for you. You can also upload your own image if you like taking photography or you can click shuffle and it'll give you a whole new set of images here. So just can keep shuffling through to find images. Um, if you want to look for, uh, when you click shuffle again and again, you'll start to see the, sim the same kinds of images again and again. So what I recommend is that you click on search. If, you, if you're getting tired of these images, right, you can click where it says search 600,000 images and type in a word for a particular idea you want. So if you want to talk about, you know, freedom, maybe you want to uh, type in ocean, you know, ocean, um, and then press enter, okay, and then wait. And then that might give you a sense of, you know, a feeling of freedom, right? Ocean or calmness, right? Or if you want to talk about um, being out in nature, you might want to type in, or if you want to talk about beauty, you know, type in flower, press enter, and then, you know, you can see many, many. So there's, think about unique words that you could use. Uh, you can even, you know, courage, for example, press enter. And you know, there's all kinds of images for that. So be creative in what, what uh, words. Usually writing just one word will give you more options than if you try multiple words. You know, courage, uh, creativity. You know, if you, if you type in multiple words, you might not find uh, very many images. I just typed it and pressed enter. And um, uh, interestingly, I don't know what happened. But yeah, try, try one word at a time. And uh, these are all, again, free to use. They're, they also have um, they also have templates. You can maybe move your mouse over here, and uh, oh, I didn't show you one more thing. There's three types of text you can add. You can add a header. It's basically three different fonts you can have. So this caption is usually used for you know your website, um, you know something like that, and you can change, you can have a different font for your website versus the body versus the header can be also a different font, and of course uh, the body can be a different size versus the header versus the, uh, the caption. So just be creative and just click on these to, to see what, uh, what type of thing you want to add there. And then the templates is where you can click on it and kind of see um, what, you know, just to kind of give you some ideas for how you, and of course you can edit the template to say whatever you want and you can you know you can again uh, make all the edits you want so have fun with this uh, really you know try this on social media because these kinds of images typically work well it, it um, brings people to the attention of your posting and uh, use it to share something inspirational something helpful for your audience always remember to be sharing things not out of hey look at me you know, I'm just wanting to get more attention, but share something out of a sense of service. Um, but using images like this does make your messages more palatable, more consumable for your audience. It makes it easier for them to, to look at, makes it more pleasant for them. So I hope this is helpful. I'm always open to your questions and your comments. And if you have any suggestions for how to make these images more interesting, more effective, or another tool that you like to use, feel free to comment on uh, below this video as well. Thanks and enjoy.